Um, uh, before we get off of this topic, the reason why I wanted to talk about it after the thing we're talking about with like um, cancel culture and yeah. LGBT agreement and all that stuff is that um, the fact that it got zero votes um, shows me just like um, with the minimum wage conversation or half and all that stuff shows me that it doesn't actually matter what's on the table and it doesn't actually matter what the constituents want all the current GOP cares about is making sure that Biden, making sure that the Democrats don't get a perceived win, right? Because this is a bill that was proposed by Democrats, David Cicilline, he's, he's of the uh, LGBTQ community. And um, if, if this passes with their votes, then to them, it's like, oh, we gave Biden a win. And I think that's such a, messed up way of thinking about things but right? things yeah. should never be about oh it's a win for this president it's a win for that president no is it a win for america yes or no if you yeah. think it's going to be a win for america vote for it if not don't vote for it but don't be a cynical politician with every single thing you do for the next few years it's like how josh Hawley hasn't voted for a single cabinet nominee that biden has put forth you know not the austin lloyd for defense secretary the first Black uh, Defense Secretary, not Pete Buttigieg for sec uh, Transportation Secretary, no one, right? And it's only because he feels like if he votes for any of Biden's nominee, nominees, then it's like he's validating Biden as a president or something. And it's that mentality really needs to change. So the problem, of course, becomes who will this benefit? Is this going to benefit the Democrats or is this going to benefit the Republicans in 2022? You know? I, I think it benefits the the Democrats only because the Demo the Republicans have shown such unity in their disapproval for the bill, right? Like, but I also think it depends on if the Democrats can use their slim. They have to use their very slim um, majority advantage, right, mm -hmm. to pass bills that will be popular i.e. if they do increase the 15 minimum $15 minimum wage right mm -hmm. whether biden wants it or not because there's been arguments that he doesn't want that right there's there the, even aoc said that um he's the reason why it's 1400 he's like that's what biden wanted you know basically said given the side eye but like reason why it's not two thousand dollars and why it's 1400 instead that's what biden wanted she even does like you know basically saying that's what he wants, you know. That's the only thing we can get out of him. I don't agree. You don't agree. But you know what I'm saying. But but if they do pass the fourteen hundred dollars, people are gonna people are gonna look at it as a victory, even if it should have been two thousand dollars as promised, right? But yeah. people will still look at it as a victory. But if they don't get anything done, yeah, you know, I, I will say on the fifteen dollar minimum wage thing, and um, also by by extension on the fourteen hundred dollar thing, it's not so much. At, at least he hasn't, it's not something he's come out and said. Not like the student loan thing where he straight up said that he's not canceling student loans, which, which I, I'm not sure why he did that, but he did. Um, but on the 15- But then he, you know what's crazy? I'm sorry. It's crazy because he does that, but then he goes out and supports his union against Amazon. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't get you, man. Like, so, be, either be an old school neoliberal or, or, or not, because you're kind of confusing me. But the $15 minimum wage thing and the 1400 it's not so much that Biden doesn't want a $15 minimum wage or he, he doesn't want more money for people. It's more about, can we pass this? Like if we propose this, can we pass it, right? Because if you, if you notice, they almost never put anything to a vote that will fail. The only things that they have, they've ever done with that is like impeachment, right? Yeah. Because they want to show people who voted against impeachment. But most times they'll have the voterama, they'll add amendments, add this and that. And if it becomes clear that they can't um, pass it, then they won't even go through and have a vote. It, it, it's not just Schumer. Um, McConnell used to do that too when he was Senate Majority Leader. They don't push for things that they don't believe can pass through. And th they're clearly hearing from the offices of Mansion and Cinema, but more, <laughs> that sounds like a law office, um, <laughs> but, but definitely more so from Mansion that, look, if you, propose this thing, you will have my vote. If you propose that thing, you will have my vote. 
And it's like, why would we go and embarrass ourselves by proposing this thing just for it to fail, even though we have a majority? Yeah, but what was the most recent thing that Kamala Harris kind of got? Basically, they twisted Manson on and he finally they, voted on it? It was going to be a, a $1,000 stimulus check to targeted people if Kamala Harris didn't do that. She did that to move it That's up to 1400 like, so I'm like, I, what I'm hoping for, because it's only three months in, right? Is that maybe they're starting to realize Ma- Manson's a weasel. Yeah. I, I don't even know. Yeah, we know that. that. Yeah. He's a weasel. And I don't mean a weasel in the sense of, I mean, he is a weasel in the sense that he's like, you know, he's really a Republican masquerading as a Democrat. But he's also a weasel in the sense if you put enough pressure on his ass, he's going to buckle. He'll buckle. Yeah. Yeah. So, he, he got pressure from the left and the right on this whole stimulus thing. And that's why he buckled. He's, yeah. he, he's trying to frame himself as like the next John McCain. And that, I mean that in the sense that, you know, a maverick, but right? someone that doesn't necessarily vote down the line for his party. Just like but, when he saved Obamacare, when, you know, the re- Republicans tried to kill it. I'm going to tell you right Trump. now, you can only be a maverick if you are conservative when it comes to like financial things, but are uh liberal when it comes to like social things which is that's what that's what john mccain was that's why he was considered he's like hey i don't think y'all should be rich but i also don't think that gay people should be discriminated against you know what i mean yeah like like it doesn't work it doesn't work the opposite way with democrats right but but that's what manchin's trying to do right he's trying to balance like i can be part democrat part republican but it it just doesn't work for him because with Manchin, you can see clearly it's just him trying to be uh, what's the word? Is he's opportun- opportunistic? That's what he is, right? So yeah, Manchin is a reason. I, I agree with that. Um, anyway, we, we kind of got off topic. The point I was trying to make before was that um, it seems it, it doesn't matter what's on the table. It doesn't matter what public opinion is. Republicans seem hell bent on voting against anything that the Democrats put up. Yeah.